Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at this very nice brand new Plant Max 400 watt Probe Start Sky Blue or 7200K whatever you want to call it Super Metal Halide Grow Lamp. This particular grow lamp was bought off eBay for $32 which was actually kind of cheap and kind of expensive at the same time. Anyways, I do believe there is a conversion slash retrofit lamp of this type as well but I haven't encountered any of those lamps yet on the internet. But if I do encounter and get one of these lamps off of the internet, I will definitely make a video of that lamp in separate videos. However, that lamp that I have seen on the internet, the metal halide conversion lamp that I just mentioned earlier, just now, it actually runs on the high pressure sodium ballast of 400 watts. So it actually runs on the S51 instead of the metal halide M59 ballast. So anyways, let's go ahead and look at the etch now and not waste any more time here and see what makes up this metal halide grow lamp. So I'm going to point it into some light source so we can get a better view of it. And we have to make sure that the camera is in focus first before we move on. Alright, there we go. Now we can clearly see the lamp etch. We can obviously see our company name on the top. Obviously Plant Max, which is a grow lamp company. I have a couple of Plant Max high pressure sodium uh, grow lamps as well. And even I even have one that actually has a metal halide arc tube as well. There's like, I have this lamp that actually has two arc tubes and one bulb, which is pretty cool. But I don't have the actual ballast for it since it runs on the S52. But anyways, let's not worry about that and get back to the etch and all the information about this lamp. So of course we have our wattage, which is 400 watts. And then our ballast type, which is the M59. And it's approved for enclosed fixtures only, according to the letter E. And of course you can't see... There's no shield around the arc tube. And then of course our letter R tells me that this bulb will emit ultraviolet radiation if it breaks. And of course our mercury symbol is right after that telling me that it has mercury inside the arc tube. And then of course our lamp description is on the bottom. The PX meaning Plant Max, which is the company name. And then the MS 400 tells me that this is a super metal halide grow lamp because this is actually used for vegetative growth. The MS tells me that it's a super metal halide. And then the 400 tells me that's the watts. And then our color temperature is listed here, and sorry for that little jolt right there with the lamp. So our color temperature is listed right here. It is 7200 Kelvin, and this is actually higher than my Plant Max 400 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide lamp that I made a week ago. But anyways, I believe that is that with the lamp etch, so we might as well look at the construction real quick of this grow lamp. So of course we have our... First off, our hard aluminum base with a polished ceramic insulator. This is what powers the bulb with the base all together. Really nice insulator and base as you can tell. Some random letters on that, I don't know if that means. But of course we have no bulb glue, just torques it onto the base. And then of course we have our strap right here that supports, the, supports these metal bars. And then of course we have some little aluminum uh, wires that go to the arc tube. And you can see a little um, ceramic tube to prevent the wire from melting. And of course our dimple on the top to support the arc tube and all that. I do believe there is a 600 watt and 1000 watt version of this type of lamp as well. But I haven't encountered those wattages yet. But I'll make a video of those in separate videos if I ever encounter the ballasts and of course the bulbs themselves. And of course, probe start resistor right there. You can see the probe circuit inside the arc tube. And you can clearly see it down below. Sorry if the etch was in the way. You can see it right there with the main electrode and the by starter electrode. And like I said, sorry for the etch being in the way. It's actually very low down. But anyways, here is our arc tube. I'm going to have to move it to the right so the etch is not in the way. And you can see there's various halide salts that make up this color temperature. So if anybody knows what the, color, uh, the halide salts are of a 7200K metal halide grow lamp, please let me know in the comments below because I'm curious to find out. So anyways, the burning position is universal even though it doesn't say it on the etch. I just know for myself. So that is pretty much what this construction has to offer for this lamp. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some specifications about this bulb and then I'll turn it on for you guys. So this particular metal halide grow lamp here produces the same amount of lumens like my 400 watt pulse start lamp, which is right here. This produces 32,000 lumens and it has the same lifetime like on a 175 and 250 watt probe start metal halide lamp. So 10,000 hours to be exact. That's pretty good. And um, the color temperature is 7200 Kelvin according to the etch on the bulb. 
and um, the burning position is universal because I know for myself because there's two coatings of ceramic on both ends of the arc tube. Um, I do not believe, I, do, I don't have any more specifications to say out loud, so I'm just going to put the rest of the specifications in the description below. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and screw this lamp into my fixture and we'll give it a shot. And hopefully there won't be any issues with the arc tube whatsoever. So anyways, here's my fixture that I'm going to be powering the lamp with. Make sure I just don't crack the bowl by accident because some of these metal halide HID lamps contain Krypton 85, which is a radioactive isotope atom gas. So anyways, it is screwed into my fixture. Looks really good, actually. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut this light off. There we go. Now I'm going to set the camera on the ballast here, and I do not need a plasma ball for this lamp. However, I do need it for the pulse start since it, it requires an igniter. And the ballast is kind of warm because I have used this ballast quite a lot today. So anyways, I believe that is so. Let's get a good view of the arc tube first. Make sure it's in focus. Alright, I believe that is that. Um, enough of me talking now. Let's go ahead and turn on this brand new 400 watt probe start metal halide grow lamp. Here we go. So the lamp is at full brightness now, and as you can see by the wavelengths, yeah, I know it looks kind of like odd with the colors of the waves, but it actually is pure sky blue in here. So as you can see, this lamp here lights up this room very, very nicely in very nice 7200K sky blue. I really like this lamp, and it's really high quality. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video of this brand new Plant Max 400 watt probe start sky blue or 7200K metal halide grow lamp. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching.